Hi, my name's Elaine Eland. Some people might know me. I work at St John's Centre. And I feel quite honoured to be asked by Linda and OT Creative Space to um, come and be a judge on the um, exciting OT Lockdown Open Exhibition. Um, I'm a bit blown away by the number of pieces that we've seen and the different kinds of media that's been used. We've had film, we've had paintings, we've had drawings, we've had textile embroideries, we've had photography, a whole host of different ways of expressing ourselves in lockdown. Um, I myself put a piece in and I do know that there's a lot of people in there that I know who submitted artwork and I didn't know they were so creative so that's been a really nice surprise for me. I'd like to say that we've had four judges and there's been absolutely no bias. Um, it's been really difficult because some of us do know some of the people but we've had, we have judged it on the artwork itself and trying to come to some sort of agreement which has been a little bit difficult but well done everybody and excellent keep up the creativity and I even bought a set of paints for myself thank you hi my name's Darren Tolliday um, and I'm a local resident of Old Trafford um, and a practicing artist and educator um, I'm, I'm announcing the winner and the runners-up for the artist section of the OT creative space online lockdown exhibition it, it was really good because there was lots of different kind of entries using lots of different kind of media and subject matter so i'll just announce the two runners up first runner up was narissa cargill thompson both her pieces memorial and the stooges um which we we all kind of agreed was was um was kind of quite powerful work in terms that she was using these you know these kind of discarded gloves which was very emblematic of um, lockdown and and sort of transferring them and mediating them into a kind of sculptural form and also the next runner-up was Ruth Bellhouse who produced a, a really wonderful piece of work with a textile piece of work uh, the old oak tree in Longford Park so there was lots of kind of detail and um, a variety of techniques within that final piece and the winner is which we all kind of agreed on was uh, Shirelle and her piece a rainbow after the storm which is a mixed media piece um, and using you know a variety of sort of techniques and media um, to create this sense of um, you know the mask but, but taking a taking an approach where um, it was kind of quite very playful and the idea of the you know this kind of golden mask and um, the necklace it, it was just a, you know it's a kind of producing a beautiful beautiful image from um, you know a, obviously a challenging situation so um, Shirelle after the a rainbow after the, the storm is, is the winner for the artist section. I'm Isaiah Ho. I've always lived in Old Trafford. I'm 23. I'm a poet, a writer, and I'm trying to be more active in the community as a community representative. So that's me. Okay, so for the community category, uh, the winner is Rachel Mackey with Shadows. Um, personally, I found it clever and like unexpected. I like the eyes as flowers and yeah, it was simple but like effective. So Rachel Mackey gets the win. The runners up for that category are Claire Riki with Recycle Me. This was one of my favourite pieces. I just like the, the the shape of the face and the way the face was made and I found it not constricted by like the theme of lockdown necessarily, it was just artistic and I think it stood out for that reason for me. And Alex Morehouse Wilson's OT on C, I think that one's near mine, I think I can, I've seen like, I've seen that one in real life and I just think it touches the community aspect of it to the heart because 
it is in the community is physical and it does something with the alleyway like with the physical space so that's for the community category well done everybody Hi, my name's Akila Akinola. I'm a local councillor in Clifford Ward in Old Trafford. It's been an honour to do this, but it's been really difficult, especially in this category, the under 16s. We had all different kinds of pieces. Um, children use different kinds of media. This was really difficult, um, but the overall winner from all four judges was an iron with dominoes which was a video piece, which was different from what everybody else put in, but absolutely brilliant and everyone just loved it. Runners up, this was so hard that we've ended up with three more runners up. Leo, age nine, with, with these hands will help the earth, which is a lovely picture with black hands and the earth in a heart sign. And Seren, age 12, with the lonely spaceman, which was just again another piece that just looked different with a torch shining into the, into the sky. And Robin, age six, with kind slow which was just a sweet little picture. Um, it was really difficult and well done everybody. <laughs>